<laughs> now, how did these French copper Morans get in here? Let's see. I know how I was raised to count, but my my adult girls' hands outside said I was doing it wrong all these years. See, I always counted one and one is two. One plus two is three. But he said I've been doing it wrong all these years. One plus one is eleven. One plus two is twelve. <laughs> Now, I've been waiting to get some copper morans in my flock just to have the dark brown eggs. And you know, I never expect it now, so I've got chicks everywhere. I got them in the house, I got them in the shed, I got them outside in the kennel. little things, huh? I did dip their beaks in the water. They will find it. They're more interested in eating than drinking, but you know where the water's at. And I got the other heat plate on. I've got it just enough where they can get over it, under it. And I really don't have to zip it up right now because they're too young. So they can have a little bit more light. It'll take them a day or two and then it'll, they'll run around here just like it's been home. <laughs> they gotta start looking for poopy butts again. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I'm wet. That'll be fine. I just gotta time it. So by the time these ones are old enough to go to the brooder in the shed, I just I'd rather keep them in the house new. Um, like the first couple weeks before I put them in the brooder in the shed. So mid-October when I get the other chicks, these ones will be ready to go out to the um, brooder in the shed. And then the ones out in the kennel will be just about ready to sell by the time these are <laughs> going to go into the kennel. And we just kind of keep rotating every couple months. <laughs> See, they found the water. It just takes one. I got electrolytes in there. I, was, I usually put just a little bit of electrolytes and probiotics. <laughs> I didn't grab the other pack, so. There, there you go. And usually, too, if I run out of, you know, the electrolytes, um, probiotics, then I mix some uh, raw, real honey and some water. Um, and crush some garlic in there, you know, just lightly. I don't overdo it, they're chicks. And a gallon of water and shake it up and let it sit 24 hours or overnight. And that's, um, some of the, some people call it a magic water for chicks. So if you're first week, you could give them that water. Yeah, i probably have to make you some up tomorrow. This was like a last minute thing here. <laughs> okay, you girls have fun. Now that I've seen you both eat and drink all on your own, you're good. You're good to go.